Hey everyone, Joe from Average Joe Mountain Biking. I'm gonna do something different today. I'm gonna go out fishing. Uh, trails are still a little muddy around here. It is, sorry, I can look at the watch. May 19th, trails are still soft, for real, up here in Maine. But I just wanted to show you real quick. Here's, uh, here's my rig, I kind of showed you. So, here's the roof rack, a couple kayak racks. We'll go over that here in a second. The Yakima the high roller it's an older one but i really like it because simply do that you stick your wheel up in the front there and then it clicks in locks your front wheel in and you're in so there's a couple other one i think the, the new one's called the high road um, i like the older model better um, but let me get uh let me get my kayak up there mounted and then we'll go from there here's the boat it's an old town moon 126 brand new never seen the water I've, i had one last year really liked it um with the losing all my weight i lost a lot of my weight in my rear end and what happened was is i couldn't get out on the water i couldn't be out in the boat for more than 20 minutes at a time because my sit bones hurt so bad uh so that became a problem so i got rid of it and uh, went a different direction but that's the best part of the boat there the the dashboard and it's got, the, got a really comfortable seat again old town moon 126 it's the non-angular version um, but i installed a, a rod holder there i only bring one rod i keep it simple uh, so yeah there it is all mounted up super simple just put it up there and strap it down Here's the put in spot. I haven't done a whole lot of fishing over there yet, but maybe. All right, made it to the lake or the river. I would call this the Mousum River, I'm not sure if it's upper or lower or what, sorry. Uh, but it's a river that goes into Estes, which ultimately drains into the ocean. Um, here's, here's the boat all ready to go in. Uh, got down here and noticed that I was missing something. That looks a little empty, doesn't it? Well, I left my fishing pole at home. So as in a, one of my other videos, my wife is fantastic. I called her up, she was laying down with a headache, and she is gonna bring me my fishing pole so I don't have to load everything all back up and go all the way back home. So it's a little bit of a drive, it's like a 10 minute drive, so I will probably get in and paddle around and get comfortable in this in the boat before my fishing pole gets delivered. Uh, catch you on the water. Aww. Thank you. You're the best. I wouldn't even be out here. Sorry. Oh, that's good. Alright, out on the water. Third week in a row coming out here and uh, every week it gets different. As, uh, as you can see, lily pads are starting to break the surface. That's good, that's good news. Um, a big turtle just went underneath. So, yeah, it's a great place out here. I'm going to get to the spot where I want to start throwing. And uh, I'll get back with you then. Wow. I've actually caught a huge ta snapping turtle in here once by accident. Uh, he caught it on his hand. I think he was going to see what it was. That was the scariest thing ever. I don't know if you could see in the water, but oh yeah. yeah. Of course, I don't have my glove on. Oh, you're gonna splash me too, huh, buddy? All right. Yeah, see, see, this one's hooked right in the bottom, so like, that's why I like to wear my gloves, so I don't get, I don't want to get hooked. All right. Oh, you're a big boy too. Look at that. All right, fish, first fish of the day. 
And it survived. So as I was saying, caught a huge fat snapping turtle in here once. That was definitely not a snapping turtle. That was a good old large mouth. Hopefully that won't be the last. I wasn't expecting it. I never, you know, I threw it in a spot I never really catch fish. And that sun's hot. Went to my daughter's track meet yesterday and I got burned. I was not ready for it. Just like I wasn't really ready for there to be sun out here today. Alright, let's let this go down a little bit. So funny how every week this place changes. And it will too. It just continuously changes. Uh, so that's not going to be good for other fish in here. Every single one of them said that. Hopefully, maybe if they're sleeping, I woke them up. Got one. Not as big. You're a small little guy. You're a small little guy, aren't you? Aren't you? That's not bad. Good. Nice looking fish. Whew. There you go. That's about where that big mama was when I caught her. It was right in this, going across this section right in here. Oh, yeah. Did I get him? Yep. Oh. Oh, I came off. That was my fault. So, if you saw that, I kind of let. I let up for a second and then to check to see if I had him and he went right through these weeds there and pulled himself right off. That was my bad. Let's see if he's got any buddies over there. I don't know if you know, but this camera is bothering me. I don't know if you can see what this view is for you. I really want to change it. Alright, I'm going to do it. Sorry. So you don't need anything special. Kayak. Rod. Doesn't even have to be, uh, you know. I use this uh, bait cast or casting reel. It's just more comfortable for me, but you can use anything. You know. My daughter comes out here with a $20 fishing pole from, from Walmart. And she slays them more than I do sometimes. And uh, just about having fun. Oh, it's all about having fun and enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying it, then do something else. You know, that's why I enjoy mountain biking. You know why? Because I get out there, it's quiet, and I get to better myself and progress. With this, you know, it's just about being out here and enjoying the, cold, the peacefulness. I know I'm talking a lot, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. I, I mean, I'm just, I can't believe I just missed that last one. I'm pretty mad at myself. Probably should have waited one more second. What's nice about this little cove, too, is the wind is pretty chill. You know, and this cove's not fishable come another month or so. This, this, this cove won't be really fishable. It's, it's so thick. And, you know, I know some of you are saying, yeah, but, you know, for a kayak and for 
the average person, it's just a lot of work. And uh, sometimes I'll come in here and throw a frog there at the beginning, like I, I told you at the beginning there. I'll throw a frog in there, I'll throw this, and uh, just have some fun. But coming in this deep is tough. It, it really fills up quick. Um, Hit more over on this side of the. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Pretty fish. Pretty, pretty fish. Woo! Oh, ain't this fun? All right, so again, it's a Strike King swim jig with a ridge tail. Grub on the back, twin rage tail, twin, whatever you want to call it. I'm not, I don't know about all the details. How's it called? Rage tail, rage menace, four inch menace, all black and blue. And uh, they're actually killing it today. I forget what I have on there. It's probably. 20 pound, 30 pound braid. And, uh, you know, part of this whole average Joe thing, this is all I got, guys. This is what I come out here with one pole, one little tackle, one little bag with, with some extra soft bait in it and a couple extra of these swim jigs just in case I get into a tree like you saw earlier. And that's it. And uh, let's come out here and enjoy it. Super, super nice out. I'm going to say it's 65 degrees out right now. And uh, so quiet out here. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Glad you could come out fishing with me, a little bit different, like I said. Hey, you know what, I haven't, average Joe mountain biking hasn't been mountain biking yet, what can I say? Uh, so until next time, ride, love, laugh, do a little fishing and progress. Until next time, hey, give me a like and uh, make sure you subscribe, thanks.